Hi Pisces, welcome to the message you need to hear for, let's see, what are we doing? The 10th, March 10th through the 24th, is it? Yeah, March 10th through the 24th. Everything you need to know about this reading is, hello, in the description box below. Pisces. Huh, okay. Okay, uh, we got some heartbreak here, some loss that is just weighing heavily on your mind and oh, I'm sorry. All right. Let's see why. Because there's been a heartbreak over your soulmate here, your, uh, your connected, committed partner. Maybe someone is no longer choosing you or the relationship is now in question. <clears throat> Six of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Wands, Hierophant, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Wands. Okay, I think somebody needs to hear that you love them <laughs> and that you still care. Huh. That you still choose them or want them. All right. Okay, so, sorry, I gotta, my, my feet are cold. <laughs> Hold on, before I get into it, let me, because the way this looks might be different when I clarify. So let's, let me clarify here. What's this Six of Swords about? This is either them wanting to, like I'm moving on or I want to move to a healthier place with you. What is this? I'm moving out, moving on, or maybe a separation is what we need right now. Okay. Maybe they want to say that, you know, counseling would be a good idea or talking to someone, talking about it with each other um, to get to a healthier place. Or is this them moving out in with friends and they're starting legal proceedings? Holy cow. What's this Wheel of Fortune about? I think they're mad. I think they're also, it's jarred them. I think they just are like reacting at this point. They're not in their, they're not emotional about it at all. They're kind of, they're, they're, it's almost like they're trying to keep this momentum of, of activity and doing things so that they don't have to deal with how they feel. What's this Eight of Wands about? Hmm. What's this? Did they fall for somebody else? What the heck? What's this hair event about? Okay. Damn it. What's this Ace of Cups about? I know. This bothers me because I feel like. Is this them saying that they're moving on and they've started legal proceedings or they're talking to somebody about ending the marriage? Um, they feel like it's over. They don't want to think about it anymore. It's it's over, but it's not over. There's This is probably a separation because this, this always to me feels like the future is unknown. Anything could happen, but they're kind of not really emotional about the situation. They're just moving on and moving fast and they're doing other things and keeping themselves busy. And it could be that they, um, this could be that they, they're moving towards someone else, that they've had a sudden realization um, or that they're moving in with someone else, that they're on the move, that they have been caught off guard. And this feels like maybe they're, there's a third party situation. There's something about them basically turning away from you and turning towards a distraction it could be somebody else they're looking at or looking for and it looks like they're wanting to take a break or a trial separation from this committed connected partnership if not marriage Pisces I am sorry and yet we have this saying you need to take action to where I don't understand what's this page of wands about I don't understand what's this page of wands about 
Oh. Because this would be like, okay, reach out and tell them that you love them, right? But then we got, this is Pisces here, so. Is it they want to hear good things? Is it they want to know that you're interested in someone else that you're starting to move on? Is it maybe they want to know if you're still open to a physical relationship? I don't. Perhaps they're waiting to hear that you'll be willing to make a sacrifice or that you have accepted the way things are right now. You've accepted that they need time apart that maybe you're not happy about it, but that you'll respect it and honor it. Um, I, you know, that's okay. That's a little odd, but. I mean, just because I feel like they want their cake and eat it too. They want you to be okay with them, like getting a hall pass basically. Like, okay, you know what? I'm kind of all of a sudden interested over here. So I need you to be okay with that. And they need you to let me do my thing. And I want you to be like happy about it. I want you to be encouraging me. I want you to be interested in how I'm doing about it. I, I don't, I don't know. And what's this? What's this? Because I don't like this. What is, this is about opening up to this connection but your heart's broken and like is this this is unless they in their mind think that you did something to ruin it so they're like okay i'm moving on here i'm either starting proceedings or unless we get counseling i want to separate and i'm going to start dating if not having already someone caught my attention um things are going to be happening very quick and unexpectedly for them or they have and they you know they hmm this this feels open here we've got an ending but is it an ending it's this is more about karma and cycles maybe you were on a good stretch and now all of a sudden it's it but it's it's now all of a sudden you might be heading downward but anything could happen and i think that's echoed by here we have the eight of wands here that all of a sudden their attention was diverted elsewhere. So it's almost, this isn't very stable and it's in flux and it's about reversal. It's about movement only. It's un unknown what that movement's gonna be. This typically is a good luck omen. Like, oh yeah, things are gonna work out, but how? It doesn't answer how. It's just like, yes, things are in, things are moving. Karma, it's in flux. There's been an ending, but has there really? Because it all depends on what's gonna happen in the future, nobody knows free will, all of that. So it's kind of like, yeah, this, this is always kind of like, okay, but, but what <laughs> for me just symbolizes karma or an end of a cycle, beginning of a new one, round and round it goes. So we've got a marriage in transition or separation. We've got transition right here. We've got someone probably unexpectedly deciding that they just feel like they're done. They're not in it anymore. And they're, both of these are about unexpected and moving on. We got the eight, you can't see that the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, that's about like out of the blue, unexpected. And yet you might have been anticipating this. You got the Three of Swords there. This is typically not a surprise. It's just hurtful. Perhaps you, you've, I don't know. I. So is it that this is about either they have, they want you to know that they have started proceedings for moving on they're moving out moving on and this is this is them starting proceed they're talking to they're in talks with someone about either therapy or about starting legal proceedings or is this them wanting you to know that hey i would be open to working this out but if we don't talk to somebody about our stuff if we don't talk to each other if we don't air our stuff then i feel like it's over and i am out of here post haste and I think they're trying to keep them I honestly feel like they're trying to keep themselves busy and they're open to any and all social invitations because I at this point unless there's some kind of agreement on your part for them it's done it's like okay well then I'm I'm ready to dissolve the relationship if it's like there's this little sliver of hope here and then is this is this saying that you need to choose love about the relationship I, I don't which is I don't know the whole story, but this feels like they're saying, unless you do something, I am out. And then we've got this here, like they, what do they want? Kind words from you? Do they want you to start being encouraging about them being hands off or that you're okay, that your interest is elsewhere now that you're going to back off, you're going to leave them alone. Is that what this is? 
I, I don't get it. I don't... Are they just into punishing you? I mean, I, I don't understand, but... What's this hangman about? What's this page of wands about? This could be Cancer. There you are again, Cancer and Pisces. Honestly, like <laughs> Pisces and Cancer just been, you know. This could be Taurus, Libra, or uh, Gemini. This could be Aries. This could be Aquarius here. And, you know, and then we've got Taurus right here. So uh, this is a mixed bag, as always, right? <laughs> uh, what's, this, what's this lover's about? This lover's about. So you're okay. So it is in flux. It is in separation. It is in trial separation mode, or things are just for the foreseeable future, unless things change. Um, perhaps there's a, they want you to be the one to reach out. We got Cancer and Pisces here. I'm just saying <laughs> they, they might want you to be the one to reach out. Honestly, because if you don't, things are just going to, well, okay, then I'm, I'm going to be working on moving on. Maybe I'm talking to all my friends about it, or I'm talking to somebody that I trust to try and get me, help me get my head around it. Could be legal, could be a therapist, could be someone's, you know, best friend, relative, whatnot. But this is, this is about hoping things will work out. This is also about healing, restoration, possibly a second chance. But it's all about over time things resolving for the best for all involved. This is things working out over time. It's not a situational wish being granted. And here we have things working out also and moving forward. It could have been there's there was a big fight. And there's maybe that's what ended things or put things in flux. And it's so much bigger than just the fight. It's like all these issues came up and now it's like, well, okay, then I am moving out and moving on. Like it's what's done is done, but they're still open. I know this is about endings. I know this is about reversal and the wheel turning. This has always been negotiable for me though, because you don't know what could happen. And we got the unexpected here. We got the unexpected here. So there's still hope for the future but right now unless and they're thinking it's you that needs to change it's you that needs to reach out it's you that needs to start the ball rolling for healing because i, I feel like this is about connected to that then they are going to leave everything in limbo unless you send word or they hear about how you feel things will stay the way they are I feel like they need you to reach out to them. Sometimes the juxtaposition of this gets me and, and I, it's like, wait a minute, who's doing what here? What's the, you know, what's the position? What's the, <laughs> the role play here? But Pisces, I feel like unless they hear from you, things are just going to stand in limbo. But they'll, I, they're still open to it. Hmm. But they're trying to move on if things don't change. All right. What else for Pisces? Pisces. Pisces. So it's it's funny because it's like they just weren't feeling it anymore, but it was based on either things being stagnant or something happened. Was there like an explosive fight? I mean, I just... But so, so they're not feeling it anymore, but they could be open to, and I think it's about, we got the Ace of Cups here. And I would say this is about you moving on and finding love, but then we've got this, this very connection here and this, with this person. So we got two sixes. Hold on. Let me see. Two sixes here. What's two sixes? I think that's irritability. Yeah, it's irritability. So someone's pretty salty and cranky but i mean the, not to diminish it but okay all right is this a battle of wills <laughs> is this someone being stubborn and like okay unless you come correct then we're we're done i mean this is a 
this is a pretty drastic move if it's just a battle of wills, but I guess it comes with that after a while. All right, this is for Pisces. 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 Illumination, things being illuminated. Um, this would be the moon card in the tarot deck, and it's all about uh, things coming to light or things that have been done in the dark or there's a lot of confusion. Maybe there's denial. Maybe there's self-delusion. Things are starting to be illuminated. And we can see it's nighttime here, but the leaves are fire and we're starting to understand all that was in the dark before. So perhaps um, this is a period of you slowly coming to terms with your culpability in the situation or understanding their culpability and then maybe making a decision on whether you want to reach out or not based on your own personal situation because this is general right pisces okay hmm the I think this is about needing more time to understand the situation to get the whole scope of what went on because this probably took you by surprise because there was a there's unexpected elements here and you're probably still grieving because of that i think more time is needed for you to understand the situation or at least for you to understand how you feel about it um because it was just so sudden it just feels like it was just sudden Okay, I did that one, all right. These are gonna be, we'll pull these at the end. We'll turn these over at the end. This is for Pisces and their person. What would their person say to them? Pisces person, what would their person say to them? Pisces, one. Pisces and their person, what would their person say to Pisces? That just fell out. I'm constantly reminded of you. I'm reminded of you constantly. Pisces and the person. So there's much estrangement here. There's things are estranged. All right. What's the core issue for Pisces and their person? What's Pisces' core issue about this? Pisces person's core issue, I should say. Pisces person's, oopsie, hello, core issue. That came out, it says silenced. Pisces court, X's court issue, person's court issue. Pisces person's court issue. Silenced and guarded. Okay, so perhaps they felt like they couldn't say how they really felt. They couldn't talk about things. They didn't want to either hurt feelings or start a war or there was something, they just felt like it was pointless to keep beating their head against the wall about a certain issue. Pisces. Okay, so we got the stars and we've got the garden. Okay, so Pisces, this is either you or this person. Um, perhaps the this is about right here saying indeed that you need to find another committed connection. Why? Because this is all about a new exciting love and keeping things light and fresh. This, I don't feel like, is connected to this reading. I feel like that's this over here, and then we've got a new, exciting, um, falling in love, hoping for love, and out and about, maybe some online communication, um, playing the field, not ready to really commit, um, because probably you're still kind of heartbroken about this, but this is, perhaps this is saying that you need to be open to finding a new soulmate. A new or sorry a new person that you think you have that soulmate connection with that you feel that way about because right now in limbo um unless you make a move towards that person they're not going to do it this could be about you doing that with them but i this was saying that you're hopeful for just being social and kind of having not so serious relationships or keeping things light and kind of superficial for the time being I don't know if I can meet your expectations. I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. Yeah, that speaks to this right here. So perhaps they just all realized this and just got the hell out of Dodge because there's like, there's, I can't win this. I can't, I can't keep beating my head against a wall. I, I can't. 
And because of the heaviness of this, they're like wanting to, they don't want anything heavy again. They don't want any kind of entrenched commitment unless it feels right. Because here we have them kind of on the hunt for that. Unless this is about you keeping things light because of that. Because until, huh, okay. So Pisces, because of how they feel, perhaps either they or you, it could be both of you, are not into heavy duty committed connections right now. Um, I think Pisces, though, this is telling you to be open to somebody new because this could be them right here play in the field or not wanting anything serious or committed in light of all of this. Now, I think at first I said, well, they found somebody else that caught their attention. I don't think it's that. I think they're looking because I think this did a number on them and was very heavy duty. And I think they're just looking to keep it light and they're looking, this was, I'm surprised the devil didn't show up, but they're looking for someone that can offer kind of a fresh perspective or fall in love with them or kind of give what they want. They want that newness and excitement. I don't know if they know what to do beyond that because they're still grieving I think also over this, um, but I, and I think that's why they're wanting to move on and be, get busy and do this, that, and the other. So we've got a lot of activity on their part, probably trying to get out there, be social, look, find whatever. This would suggest that you um, do the same, but the reason why this person is wanting to find, or wanting to keep it social and date and just keep it social and superficial and all that, is because they're still really thinking about this situation. So I feel like the door is still open, but there's a lot of um, expectations on you because they're wounded. They felt like maybe it was either one-sided or they couldn't say how they really felt. They're guarded. It's like they're standing there with their arms across their chest and just like, well, what do you have to say? Like, I'll listen, but, you know, and it's just a big, huge, I'm surprised, honestly, the moon didn't show up other than here. So anyway, um, definitely more time is needed for you because it's just around and around we go. Round and round we go. So right now as it stands, it feels like a trial separation, but unless you, you know, climb Mount Vesuvius or something, um, they're not gonna really be open to it. And you need more time to think about how you feel and what you want. Okay, Pisces. I hope this was helpful. I hope it didn't get too confusing over here with this. Sometimes the juxtaposition about who wants what or what someone should do messes with me. Um, I hope it was helpful. I hope to see you in the next reading and I wish you luck with this. It's like you're in limbo now, both of you. Both you're in limbo. This one's trying to move on and get the hell out and do whatever, but they're still thinking about it just as much as you are. All right. I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.